I'm photographer David Bergman and this is Two Minute Tips for Adorama TV. So wouldn't it be great if you could be in two places at once? Well today's tip is going to help you do that by setting up remote camera. What's a remote camera? Well, it's just a regular camera that you place somewhere else and trigger it remotely without holding it in your hands. These are often used at sporting events, but I've also used them at concerts and other live events. To make a remote camera, you obviously need an extra camera and a lens, but there are a few other pieces to make it work. The first one is two radio devices, a transmitter and a receiver. Pocket Wizard has been the industry standard for years, but there are some other companies making them now as well. You also need to buy the proper cord for your camera, since unfortunately, each brand uses a different kind of port. You can fire the remote by putting the transmitter on the hot shoe of your camera, and then every time you take a picture, both cameras will fire at the same time. You can also keep the transmitter off your camera and fire it independently whenever you want by pushing the button. I like to wear it around my neck or on my belt for easy access. Instead of using separate radio devices, some cameras have built-in Wi-Fi, or you can use something like the Cam Ranger, which plugs directly into the USB port of your camera. The advantage of using a device like this is you can use software on your phone or tablet to see through your camera in real time, change settings if you have to, and download images directly to your device. The last thing you need is a way to mount your camera in a remote location. I like to use the Bogan Magic Arm, which allows me to clamp it to anything secure and put the camera at any angle I want. I've only covered the nuts and bolts of setting up a remote camera, since placement and focusing is really more art than science, but that's where your creativity comes in. But by using remote cameras, you can actually cover an event from multiple angles all at once and make pictures from unique angles that'll separate your work from everyone else. Thanks for joining me today on Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos, follow me on social media at David Bergman, and go to the Adorama Learning Center for lots of other great tips and tricks.